Skid Row Trash here. Uh, doing a video on doors for RPG Maker VX Ace. Uh, I just did a video on entrances, so if you watch that, you'll know. I'm just using the same little map setup. So if you watch that, you'll know how to do this real easy and quick. So right now, just an, I have an inside of a building. The outside, and like grass and a guy. And here's my door. So, I have an event over the door. You can move that or whatever. I'll just move it to the side for now. So, with a door, you need you can't really use an entrance. It, or, well, you can, I guess. You know what? No, you can. Leave this here as it is. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, because then... Yeah. Sorry. Double click on this. Your event. So, you got to be in... Not in map mode, but in event mode. Double click on your door event that we made in the entrances video. And it's all the same for now, but you're going to want to add a graphic. So you're going to have to go in here, double click on graphic, and we're going to look for a door. Hey, door right here. So here's a nice door. I like that one. That's a good one. We'll go. Said, yeah, okay, sure. That's what we're going to have here. Apply, okay. So now you see a little door there. Um, so it'll uh, go back in here for a second. So it's already set to be below the characters, or the same as characters. What the fuck? Okay, anyways, yeah. Same as characters, that's what you want. That means it's at the same level as your guy, so you'll bump into it. And then we'll have player button, so you have to click in order to activate it so you don't just go through automatically so you're gonna have to activate it when you touch it there and for this side we don't really need a door cuz like you're just going out maybe we'll, we'll put in a door sound though so it sounds better go back into the door mode go back into the door so Double click on the top one here and, and then you'll be able to put something in before it. And we're going to want to go... We're going to want to animate the door. So we're going to go set move root. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but... You're, uh, when you look at the... when he, I'll show you. When you look at this, this is like one direction, another direction, another direction, and another direction. So you're going to want to use... A move root. Double click and set move root. So you're not going to want to move though. You're going to want this event to turn left and then turn down. We'll try that. Uh, and then at that point, right at the very beginning, we'll insert a sound effect. So it has a sound effect, and as soon as that plays, it opens the door. Pop in a sound effect for the door. We open. Open. Here we go. Open. Open. It'll play open and then open the door. And then you'll go through. So and then on the other side, we're going to go into this event. And this one will have the same as before, so it's below. You just walk on it. And we're going to just put in a sound so it sounds like you're opening the door. Go there. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, now let's test Alright, so we're back in the game. It's going to take a look at this door we made here. So you can't still go through the bricks, but you can, can't go through either. So you're going to click it. That looks kind of weird. Well, it works, but we're in here. That looks kind of weird when you open it, though. Let's go back and change something to make it look better. Okay, so we're back in RPG Maker here again. So the door looked kind of weird when you opened it. I think I have to up the frames on the video because I don't even know if it showed. But it just opened real quick and closed again. So we're going to double-click on the door. And we're going to want to change the move route a bit. First, if you look at graphics, check out the people. 
It's the same with the other ones. They face down, left, right, up for movement. So that's the same as the doors. Down, right, left, up. So we want it to open left, right. So we're going to change this, edit, delete the turn down, put in a turn right. And now it should look better. And I'll up the frames for s on the video and see if that makes you can so you can see the door better. Anyways, okay, I upped it to 60 frames a second. I don't know what that means for this. Let's see. I'm going to click it. Oh, that's so much better. I don't know. Hopefully you're able to see that. Nice and smooth. Nice sound. Although the curved back. You might want to put with a square rectangle, the shadow behind it, that tunnel entrance. You can see it real quick there. It's um, You might want to have it so it lines up with the door better. You just use a square one. But that's how you do the doors. Uh, I wish you could hear the sound, but I haven't figured this mic shit out yet. With the in-game talking. Or no, yeah, talking in-game and stuff like that. So I'm just fucking around with the sounds. See, hopefully I'll get better at this shit. Anyways, nice door. Nice chair. See ya.